Hey Libra, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your end of March general love reading. Now, keep in mind, this is a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today and hope that you all are doing well. So Libra, when I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I got was Pulling Me Back by Chingy featuring Tyrese. I'll leave the link to that song in the description box below so you can listen to it following the reading if you so choose to. Now, Mr. Chingy happens to be a Pisces and Tyrese is a Capricorn. So you can be dealing with a Pisces or a Capricorn, some moon rising Venus individual or during Pisces season, which we literally just got out of or we believe in right now as we speak. <laughs> Um, somebody could be trying to pull you back. They tried to pull you back where somebody tried to resurface and come back to your life. I feel like you guys were feeling like hell to the no. Seven of Wands is guarding this defensiveness, being protective. And then also right here, you have the Queen of Wands, Leo Sag Aries, Leo Sag Aries. So for some of you all, there could be a fire sign involved also, or somebody has ignited a fire in you to make you stand up for yourself. You guys are looking in a different direction. Her body is facing us, but she's looking in a different direction. Also, for some of you all, you I do feel like somebody tried to come back in, but I feel like you're not allowing them to come in because somebody else has your attention. Like her, her intention is not on us. It's going in a different direction is what I'm getting also. Okay. So let's see what we get for you guys today. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus individuals. We're going to get your major arcana, which is the justice card. And we'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after. And then we'll get clarifiers for both. I feel like somebody else got your interest. You got the Ten of Cups here. Now, you guys know this is usually my Shirley and Barbara card. That's that song, Woman to Woman, where they have something in common and it's this man. I feel like happiness is coming in. Like, you may have a friend or a family member who introduces you to someone. Because they seem like they're just sitting there shooting the shits, you know, just communicating, connecting. I feel like something happy, something very happy is coming into your life after a cycle of trying to move on and heal from someone who you feel like is not good for you or they, they're non-committal because I'm getting non-committal and that's not what this card means, but I'm hearing non-committal, okay? So let's see what we get for you guys today. You know, I'm going to do a couple shuffles. You do have an ex or somebody who's still watching you. They're keeping tabs on you or you're doing this to them. Page of Swords, always the eye spy lurker, somebody keeping tabs. Some of you all have a new love interest coming in in Taurus season or with a Taurus with the hair font. Wow. Strength card. Look at them going towards each other. So strength card is a major icon for Leo. So, so far you got Taurus and Leo energy. Wow. Remember I just said the name of the song is pulling me back. She's pulling this drag, this, and I want to say a dragon. Somebody could have been born in the year of the dragon or you need to be like the dragon and be more assertive. Okay. But she's pulling this lion along with her. So I feel like somebody, in, and remember in the beginning we had the queen of wands. For some of you guys, it was a Leo or someone that you left in Leo season of last year, because Leo season hasn't come up yet. Leo season is July, August. You know, I'm just getting like either Leo person or someone that you ended things with in Leo season is trying to come back into your life. But you guys have enlightenment now. You're aware of this person's motive or you're aware of how this person no longer resonates with you and you're going in a different direction. Even though they're going towards each other, I just get like, you're leading your own path. You're not allowing yourself to be restrained in one way or another. I feel like breaking free from someone who no longer aligns with you. You guys are in your own power and like in, in a boss, authoritative state is what I'm getting. You have the major icon of the emperor. And you guys know for every emperor, there's an empress, vice versa, same sex, however it resonates with you. I feel like you guys got new love coming in. You guys got new love coming in. You got Aries energy here. That's wow. You guys have manifested a new love interest. You also got Gemini and Virgo here with the magician. Wow. Okay. So again, we want the justice card for you guys. I want to see what's going on because I feel like what I'm getting overall is that you guys are more powerful than you were when you were in the connection with this person, which means you've done some major healing. And I don't feel like this person is aware of it and they thought they could come step back into your life and it'll be the same old lame old. And it ain't, okay? You guys got new love in your energy or it's getting ready to come in. Here's your card and then you got the lovers. Gemini energy again. So you guys could be connecting with a Gemini or in Gemini season, which is May, June. You could be meeting someone new. Right behind there, you have the nine of wands, wounded warrior. Somebody's hurt. Definitely could be a fire sign. 
somebody is hurt and salty as hell that you have moved on to somebody new with the two of cups. Oh, yeah. So, with the lovers, you could have some, you or a love interest could have the first, middle, last initial of C, G, M, W, S, T, K, V, or L. I just heard Lawrence. That could be first, middle, last name for someone. Someone's nickname definitely could be Larry. I just heard Osborne. Marissa, Carrie with a K. Yeah, definitely Carrie with a K is what I'm getting. Kimberly, and I heard Kim Bark. That could be like a street name or something like that, Kim Bark. Street name, um, unit or something like that, but I heard that very clearly. If you notice, she's here physically, but he's not. So for some of you all, there's a new love interest definitely coming in. And it's something, you know, I feel like the connection is so strong because he's a knight, which is, you know, this is a strong person who's fearless and they're coming to protect and defend. I feel like a new love interest has come in. They've given you a sense of strength. And this is why you're not interested. You're not even trying to see. She's blindfolded. Male or female, you're not even trying to see this past person. And this person is sick. They are sick with the fever. They're salty because they thought that they could wear you down. Nope. Some of you guys, even if you have not even met anyone, I definitely feel like you can already feel it. Because even though he's not physically there, she can sense his presence. Again, male or female, however this resonates for you, you can sense like something is getting ready to shift in your life. Is what I'm getting here. Bottom of the deck, yep, you can sense it. You can't see it, you don't know what it is, but you can feel like fulfillment is coming in. Because that curtain behind him, you can't see who's behind that curtain, but he can just sense like, okay, I'm sitting in the energy of abundance. Some of you guys are doing affirmations or you will start doing affirmations. Because I just heard literally an uh, affirmation as someone may be saying is, I am already sitting in my abundance. I am already resting in my abundance. I am already comfortable in my abundance. Some of you guys are starting to need to do or you're getting ready to do affirmations like calling in. Because remember, um, well, I, I shuffled in there, but you had the magician. That's you manifesting it because you have all the, all the tools, all the gifts, all the abilities to call things in and to manifest things. That's what you're doing. You guys are magicians right now. That's what I'm getting. You have the King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You got a lot of water here. Because even though this is Gemini, they're also in water. So a water sign could very much... Yeah, and then you have the Two of Cups. A water sign could very much resonate for you all. Or you could have met someone in, in Pisces season. Getting it also... That's going to clarify for the lovers. Yes, there's somebody new in your life. Because I want you to see, you got two ships in the background, relationships. One has a lot of um, a lot of baggage here, which means, you know, that's it, it has a lot of history. This boat has no baggage, which means it's something new coming in. Some, this ship is leaving out. This one is coming in. So I do feel like there's a new love interest coming in for you guys. And that has your attention. So you're not even thinking about this past person. Bottom of the deck, yep, you're not thinking about this past person. Because the Six of Cups is like a reconciliation with a soulmate, someone that you have history with. And then you have this person leaving a picture. I feel like some of you guys kicked somebody to the curb in Pisces season. You met someone new in Pisces season. If you haven't met someone new, it just I just feel like overall, on an emotional level, you're detaching from someone that you would have, in a past, you would have given this person another chance. There's a detachment here. And I feel like this person's ego I feel like this person's ego is bruised more than anything. Even if they're not a fire sign, somebody's ego is bruised. Let's get a clarifier for the lovers. For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Clarify for the lovers. For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus individuals. Okay, you see how that landed right here? You got two cards. I'm taking both. Yeah, you're tired of fighting for something that, yeah, wow. Did we not start off in the first deck? This deck here. You see, this is confirmation. We start off with the seven of wands. Wow. Yep, this is confirmation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, it definitely could be involved in a fire sign. Three of your five cards here are wands. Um, You were tired of fighting for something that was not making you happy. You, you. It's like, if you see how it's almost like she's fainting, like, you know what? I, I, I'm, I'm done with it. I'm falling out. I, I, I'm done, you know? I, I want to move on to something that's going to make me happy. The five of wands, conflicts, arguments, disagreements. You may have been dealing with someone who constantly puts you in third-party situations or let outside interference interrupt you guys' connection. You have gracefully, because she's being graceful the way she's falling back, 
you gracefully bowed out of that situation. You're tired of fighting for people who aren't going to fight for you. You want someone who's going to fight for you. Because again, he's a knight. He fights and protects his kingdom and the ones that he loves. And you're not dealing with anything less than that. That's the, you. That's your requirement. I feel like you guys are requiring more of connections now, as you should. And I'm going to say again, we start off with this card in this deck, right? You got the nine of wands, the wounded warrior. Like I said, I feel like somebody's ego is wounded because you guys are blocking them out. You're blocking out contact. You're blocking out connection. You're not giving them access. You see how all these wands are trying to fly towards him? Look at his face. Mm-mm. Denied. Access denied. You see how it's like across him? I'm getting like that. Ah, you know how you have the, the O with the little line? Like the block sign, that symbol? That's what I'm getting. Ax yeah, I keep hearing this. You know how you watch <laughs> those movies and people have to put in a code and they put in the wrong code and says, access denied. Access denied. That's what I'm getting. Like, access is denied. Also, because I'm hearing that and it's like a system type thing, somebody may have known passwords of certain apps of yours and you changed it. And they're no, they no longer have access to something, possibly in regards to finances, because he is wearing this green shirt right here. Some of you guys may be thinking about doing that also. I'm getting that as well. I feel like you guys are denying access to past people. And you're, you're interested in moving on to someone new. Even if you have not moved on yet, and this person isn't physically in your life, they're coming in. This is major arcana is definite. The universe is saying that somebody's coming in. They're already in your energy. You see how they're in between this portal right here? You guys are in a portal of manifestation with someone who's equal to you. See how that's equal? You're not doing chaos. You're not doing drama. You're not doing outside interference. And you're blocking out anything that is not aligned with you is what I'm getting. You got strong fire placements in your chart also. Okay? So Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, take care and be well. Bye.